a subway car covered from end to end in graffiti. It's a cool sight, a throwback to some, but how did the vandals get the time and access to this train? CBS 2's Marsha Kramer is demanding answers tonight from the MTA. Paint transit officials' faces red. Also orange, turquoise, green, blue, all the colors in the spray paint palette. Transit officials at a loss to explain away a devastating video of an F train defaced from one end to the other, top to bottom, doors, windows, everything covered in graffiti. How is it possible that somebody was able to get onto the tracks and spend clearly hours and hours painting a train from one end to the other and nobody noticed that, that no conductor noticed as they went by? No security person went by. Well, well, look, we're looking into this. I mean, that that layup uh, section uh, is protected, so there's a few questions to be asked, uh, answered. There, it is subject to security. The video was tweeted by the Police Benevolent Association, comparing it to the bad old days of the 70s and 80s, when graffiti vandals covered the trains with their tags. The union called it a true sign of decay, one that we worked so hard to eradicate decades ago. The taggers had plenty of time to cover. This entire train because they know there are no more consequences. Hashtag back to the future. The F train was found over the weekend while out of service on a side track at the Church Avenue station in Brooklyn, even though a sign warns do not enter or cross tracks. Officials say that in order to reach the park train, the graffiti artists had to walk down the tracks and avoid the live third rail. John Jay College professor Robert McCree raises security issues, saying it's important to protect trains from the bad guys. Perhaps they could uh, plant, plant a bomb or they could uh, uh, injure the uh, mechanical facility in some way. The public shouldn't be there. While the MTA insists so-called major graffiti hits are down from 443 incidents in 2018 to 298 last year, the total number of markings has surged from about 200 each year in the first half of the decade to 619 in 2018. There were 537 incidents through mid-December. One hit is one hit too many. It's selfish. It's vandalism. And it's also expensive. It costs thousands of dollars to clean the train. In Brooklyn, I'm Marcia Kramer, CBS 2 News.